Well, uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, uh, for, uh, for, for being here. We believe uh, that uh, the Russians uh, need to release Paul unless they can come up with some sort of concrete evidence uh, to keep him there. Uh, we are very concerned about Paul's health uh, as well, which uh, appears to be deteriorating and continuing to deteriorate at a, an accelerated rate. Uh, there's mm -hmm. also some evidence uh, that he have, may have been uh, abused uh, in his uh, detention uh, as, as well. Uh, but clearly, uh, this is a, a very bad situation that is only getting worse uh, as we go forward. Um, has this case attracted similar... It's real simple why we're here. Paul Whelan needs to come home, period. The Russians have produced no evidence of wrongdoing by Paul. Meanwhile, he is sick. He is languishing in prison with no access to justice. And this is wrong. Enough's enough. Congress will stand. We know that there are actions being taken of at the administrative level and other places, some maybe even, even secret to us. But at least Congress can stand for an American citizen and say, bring Paul Whelan home. It's not a partisan issue. It's an American issue. It's a release and safe return home. What has happened to Paul could happen, happen to any one of us. Paul is an extraordinary brother, but he is an ordinary American citizen who traveled to Russia to help a friend and became trade fodder in a geopolitical uh, dispute which is not of his making. With Paul on one side and us on the other, we have endured a systemic lack of transparency, both with respect to the Russian court proceedings as well as Paul's conditions of confinement. I will say, as you've heard from my colleagues here, the State Department has been uh, very active uh, in this uh, issue. Our Ambassador Huntsman, who we've all spoken to, I believe, uh, has also been engaged and has been uh, at, the, at the prison. Uh, Secretary of State uh, Pompeo, I think, r uh, raised the issue as well in meetings. So there has been recognition. Uh, but I think now is the point where that has to, to uh, escalate uh, considerably, especially with uh, the failing health of, of Paul. Uh, time is, uh, may not be on his side or the family side. Uh, we need to act uh, very, very quickly. Right now, we are doing what we can do. We're taking advice as we can take advice. We have been in con contact with the State Department. We've sought advice there. I think thus far things are moving um, as best as possible. Uh, certainly we would encourage the President when it would be advisable to be involved, but only when it's advisable. I don't uh, share the same optimism that uh, Congressman Wahlberg uh, shares. Uh, I don't think things are going as well as they should. They've got to go a whole lot faster. After nine months, that's not things going as the way they should. Uh, we are saying now is the time for action. We're coming together in a bipartisan, bicameral way, saying enough is enough. Bring Paul home. Together we are all uh, pressing for Michigander Paul Whelan.